Hey guys, Insta360, which is a camera that I've used for a long time and have actually been in their advertisements for quite some time, reached out to me, sent me a new 1X4 and asked if I'd take it over the beach to get some, uh, some video footage of the airplane and I said absolutely. All right, so I'm leaving the W basically right after sunrise, heading out over to Miller, uh, where I'm gonna set up the camera, and then from there I'll jump off, go over the bay, and then down the shore, and then uh, head back when it's all wrapped up. So here's the route that I set up on four flight if you just want to take a look at it to kind of see where I was uh, see where I was headed. And listen, you know, I get Jersey gets a bad rap because the taxes and, and, and all that stuff and people think of Newark, but this is actually a really, really beautiful flight, a really pretty area in Jersey. Um, nothing but pine trees, you, know, you head out over the ocean, the sun's just beating in your face. Um, it's it's pretty awesome. All right, here I am entering the uh, downwind from Miller. I, I didn't want to keep the camera running the whole time because it's an 8K camera, so it, it would eat up um, a ton of memory cards. So I, I landed here in Miller, started the camera, and then headed on out to uh, the ocean. All right, so the camera's on. That's what it looks like attached to the strut. Now, what's great about this camera is, you know, I'm, I'm a one-man show. I don't have anyone out there to uh, to film me um, or to do air-to-air -air videography, photography. So that's what's really awesome about this camera is that it kind of gives you that perspective that you're doing air-to-air -air photography, but it's obviously just, just strapped to the airplane. Um, so it, it makes it pretty, pretty cool. Uh, clearly, it's not as nice as, you know, an air-to-air -air ship, but it, it does the job and kind of allows me to get really cool shots like this.
So one of the reasons why I picked this area is obviously it's pretty because it's on the shore, but there is no um, housing or boardwalk or anything like that on this strip of land. Uh, and when you're flying low, one of the FARs you really got to keep in mind is 91.119. Um, I'm not going to read it all. It's basically the minimum safe altitudes, but uh, you know the area that I'm interested in, it's um, anything other than a congested area or open water. You got to be 500 feet from any person, structure, vessel, anything like that. So um, if there's somebody walking their dog on the beach uh, and you're within 500 feet, or less than 500 feet, that's that's an FAR violation, um, a boat, etc. So that's just something that you have to kind of keep in mind. Because um, like I said, you know, it, it might be a, an open beach and you don't see anybody, but someone's out there uh, on a rowboat and, and that's uh, a violation. So just kind of something to keep in mind. All right, enough of the legal stuff. Uh, here is the video that I sent to Insta360 for them to pull some shots from. Right, so the shot was wrapped up and then I headed back over the bay and then headed back home and one thing you know if you do this low level flying obviously you want to make sure you're within gliding distance of the shore um, obviously the lower you are the closer you got to be so that's why it's important if you're gonna do it you really do have to make sure that nobody is around because if you do lose an engine and you got to put it down on the beach the last thing you want to do is uh, endanger people that are just literally trying to hang out on the beach all right, and here I am on base to final for the W where I make a uh, not very pretty landing. Um, thanks for watching. Next video, I'm going to head up to uh, Andover and then Sky Manor for breakfast as soon as my airplane is done with the annual, which should be wrapped up here uh, this week. All right, guys. Thanks.